friends, it's time for the monthly unboxing from A House of Books. However, this month's unboxing is a little bit different. Instead of the usual large ephemera kit, we were sent the junk journaling kit this month and it is absolutely incredible. Not only were we sent it, but you have a chance to win one too. All of that information will be linked below in my description box and there's a little bit more information about it at the end as well. This kit has everything you need to journal except your creativity and a few other, you know, pieces of ephemera, colors of paint, but basically this is like 90% of what you need to create in a junk journal. So these kits come with a little prompt card deck. This top card corresponds with the journal and I'll talk about that as we look at the journal in a minute. You're also going to get a container of paint that coordinates with your journal color, which you get to pick out. You don't get to pick out the fabric, but you get to choose what color you want and then it'll be a surprise in the mail. You also get a paintbrush, a little tin of a whole bunch of beads and trinkets and baubles now you could make like a bookmark or a tassel with these there's also fabric and ribbon and other little things um you could sew these onto a page you could sew them onto your journal cover there's like limitless possibilities here that little charm that fell out it's a little um flower charm it's so darling i'm looking forward to trying to use that somewhere in the journal and then the um, tin is just stuffed full of different like fabrics and other coordinating little bits and bobs that go with the journal. Setting that aside and you also get a tag that is full of other coordinating fibers and ribbons that you could use to create bookmarks or tassels. You could add them onto the page for texture and then on the bottom there is a needle that will help you with any kind of sewing that you want to do in your journal. You're also going to get a coordinating tube of watercolor. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna use this to dye some of my pages with, and then you also get a stamp. And underneath the journal, I found the stencil that I got. So your stamp, your stencil, your journal, the colors, it all coordinates to make a nice cohesive journal. And let's grab out this journal. I am so excited to look inside and see what amazing pages I'm going to be creating on. And these amazing book paper shreds, just a side note, you can actually buy those in bulk on the House of Books website. I have some ideas for how I'm going to use these in an art journal though. So now I'm going to open up this journal and show you how coordinated and how much time and effort a house of books put into creating these amazing junk journals for us and possibly for you too. Now I'm going to admit this ribbon is a little bit more sparkly than my taste. I might actually replace it with some of those fibers or one of the buttons that's inside that you'll see in a minute, but it's great for now and it's going to hold that journal together. So this journal contains two signatures on the inside and most of the pages, maybe like every other or so, are st have a, um, I can't think of what it's called, a paper clip, I was going to say a staple, a paper clip with an ingredient that corresponds with this little create card that you receive. So looking at this card, the first create prompt is magazine. So on this first page, Amber has paper clipped a magazine. Um, a page of a magazine, not a whole magazine. The second one is recipe. This third one is junk mail. So she um, put the little prompt in there. Now we're gonna skip a page and the next one is map and so on. Each of these pages has that um, paper clipped item. This one is, um, I'm forgetting, receipt. Yes, it's a receipt. Look at this amazing receipt for furniture. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can bear to use it, but I'm going to have to because it's going to be so much fun to use on these pages. 
Here's another skipped page and then we're going to go into newspaper and what a fun little newspaper clipping. Coming up we have another prompt for collecting flowers. All of the pages in here are either photocopies of ephemera that's on heavier paper or lined paper there, um, book pages and other different type pages. This prompt is photo and I absolutely love the photo that I got. This one is fabric and here's the center of the signature. So you can see we have so many prompts and we still have so many more to go. This one is um, envelope, obviously. It's paper clipped to a page. Another one is um, a quote prompt that you can include on the page. It's cool that it's lined so you could actually write it or use it um, to use as a background texture. This one is music sheet and then we're going to skip a couple pages and we're coming up with lace. And she includes that beautiful piece of lace. And coming up, we're going to have another prompt that was a surprise to me. It's key. How much fun is it going to be? Now we have that cool fabric and the needle. We could stitch that key in there somehow. This one is poem. So it includes a poem. Um, I keep wanting to say staple to the page, paper clip to the page. After that poem, we have song lyrics. So she included that information in a prompt and there's music notes to the left. And that was our first signature. As you can see, we're now going to start our second signature. So that was half of it. Um, it was, let's see, 16 prompts. And now we're on the 17th prompt, which happens to be ledger paper. And the next one is napkin. That's really cool. This next one coming up is one of my favorites as well. Tables, I love that table. And then after that is blueprint. And this is probably another favorite of mine. I had to take it out and look at that really cool like mechanical blueprint. I love the graphics on that. And the prompts coming up will be buttons, book pages, playing cards, wallpaper, and a doily. And I'll let you look at those while I talk through a little bit. Each of these journals is absolutely unique. She coordinates the bits and bobs and fun little things that you get with the theme of your journal, the color theme. And then they include the prompts and the little pieces of ephemera to include in helping you with your prompt. So this is a one of a kind journal for you to create in. I think this would be perfect to give for a gift or I'm thinking it would be a great journal to take on vacation because it's like everything you need and then you could just grab, you know, a few of your favorite colors and some other ephemera and this would be a great vacation journal. You could even do it vacation themed and put something, you know, from your vacation in it as well. I think this, there's so many amazing possibilities for this journal. I love that I'm not going to have to think to create like moments when I'm like, oh, I want to create, but I don't know what to do. This would be a great journal to pick up because the prompts are there for you and you don't have to think about being creative. So like I said, this has two signatures in it. We're nearing the end of the second signature. There's probably five or six pages at the end that don't have prompts on them. So it's great for you to add some additional um, ideas of your own with or use some of the um, other prompts that are in this little creative card deck coming up that I'm going to pick up. Um, the card deck has several other ideas to get your creative energies flowing. Um, it has like ways to be creative on the pages and I'm going to flip through that in a minute and show you some of them but for instance like it tells you like maybe make a pocket on the page or um, do some stamping on the page, use staples on the page, use some cardboard, like a whole bunch of other creative prompts to get those ideas flowing. As a quick reminder, I'm giving one of these away over on my Instagram account. The directions and what all you, that you need to do to enter to win will be over on Instagram. However, some bonus entries can be acquired by um, commenting here on YouTube as well. So look for that and make sure you comment below. Also, if you don't win, I would love for you to purchase one of these. I am all about helping you be creative. So if you purchase one and send me proof of that purchase, I want to send you a little fun ephemera envelope to help you with adding extra things to your journal. And I'll have a little bit more information about that below as well. I hope you really enjoyed this unique unboxing. What a wonderful tool for us artists. We just don't want to have to think too much about creativity. Here it is provided for us with prompts and ideas to get those creative juices flowing. I just love this kit from Amber and A House of Books and I hope that you do too. So look for these graphics over on my Instagram account. 
and read how to enter to win. That information will be below as well to get those bonus entries here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that this encourages you to be creative today. One last reminder, don't forget House of Books has that monthly subscription kit for Ephemera. I'll have that information linked below so that you can check that out along with my unboxings that I've done for previous months. Thanks again so much for watching.